Welcome friends, it's Fern and Frank with Java Walker World and today we're taking a tour of the beautiful island of Piku, starting off with the town of Madalena. Well, we're feeling a little peckish, so I think it's time for lunch. Well, let's head away from Madalena along the North Shore. Here is the small village of Benbedej and its town square. Let's take a drive along the wine route of Pico. It's a beautiful view of St. George Island. Look at that spectacular view of the top of Pico. Just beautiful, covered in like a little skirt with the clouds. More on the wine route in Pico.
We're now just entering an area or town called San Roque, uh, which is one of the three main towns on the island. A lot of the exporting happens out of this town and importing comes in through this town and there's a lot of shops through here uh, and it's quite lovely. We're just going to take a look at the downtown area and so you can see what it looks like. Here's a lovely park with lovely views, Ponta de Misterio. And now we're headed to Ribeiras and Pontes Negras, Santa Cruz, and then Lages do Pico. Chased by the sun, feeling the tide rise. Your blood is my blood, your skin is my skin. Sister, my heart, my twin Sometimes I want to go back Just wanted you to know Lages du Pic is one of the three major towns of the island.
Here we have a beautiful view of Lajes. We've just turned off Silveira. We are going uphill, uh, climbing the mountain, but not the peak because that's really high up there. There in the distance, you can see the windmills uh, for electric um, or wind powered electricity. And it's just beautiful here, so peaceful. spectacular and we're nowhere near the actual peak or the high point of the tallest point of the island um, there is a turn off that comes off of here that goes that direction but we're nowhere near there uh, but it's absolutely beautiful here so peaceful and people don't live up here it's just for grazing um, it's um, you always have fog every day, it's very damp, um, but the nature and the birds, I've seen so many birds here, it's incredible. And it's November, so you can imagine what summer is like here, or even in the spring with everything just bursting, all the flowers uh, just bursting everywhere. But the Azores is just beautiful. They compare it to the uh, Hawaiian Islands which there are a lot of Portuguese people in the Hawaiian Islands as well. But similar in a lot of ways, only they're in the Pacific and the Azores is in the Atlantic Ocean. They're a little further south and uh, here in the Azores we're a little further north. Um, but the challenges and the um, requirements to grow things and the work involved, the hard work, the culture, and that's why a lot of people from the Azores immigrated over to uh, Hawaii. There was a lot of work there available. And in Hawaii, they were looking for families to immigrate there to work the land. That is a beautiful view of Saint Roch. And another beautiful view of Saint George Island. Now we're entering the old village of San Antonio. Well, we are in San Antonio, Picuasurge, 
near San Horoc and this is a very old village, extremely old. This church is from 1696 uh, and it looks like they added the tower that you see there. They added the tower in 1917. Then at some point they added a little house to it which is probably where the priest uh, would uh, live. Uh, looks like they're doing some renovations. But this is one old, old village. <laughs> Very antique. They're trying to do Sarok. Kambara Municipal. Oh, they're doing a, a, a municipal. They're building here. It looks like a brand new uh, municipal. Um, Kambara Municipal. Uh, municipal office here. So they're just under construction. They've got a crane. And uh, let's see if we can take a little peek at this church. Well, look at this. They've taken out all the pews. They're re-sanding down the floor and fixing it all up, restoring it. Sorry for the fluorescent lighting, which makes terrible footage for this video. But it's kind of interesting all the work that they're doing here to restore this. That's wonderful. Well, here's a good example of traditional construction here on Pico and the stone houses uh, that originally were built here. Uh, they were totally made out of stone and in the old days they would probably have a cob style cement, uh, just clay and sand uh, in between holding the stones together. Um, but they didn't really worry about carbon, carbon monoxide at the time uh, with their wood stoves and so forth in the houses in order to keep them nice and warm. They had plenty of ventilation. And then later on they had uh, these whitewashed buildings. Uh, it's still stone underneath them but they whitewashed them and made them look all pretty and white. Here we are in the village of St. Vincent. Again, St. George in the far distance. All the dogs in the village are upset that I'm here photograph <laughs> ah, filming here. <laughs> it's funny. But there we are. Cute little village, isn't it? Sweet. Now we're back on to the south shore of the island. And here approaching is the beautiful village of San Mateo, which is St. Matthew's. Uh, we're going to stop in and look at the beautiful church in the little town square in front of it and see how beautiful this church really is. It's spectacular. Beautiful St. Matthew's Church, or as they say here on Piku, Igreja de San Mateus.
we're taking our car back, our rental car, and uh, we're going to take a route along the mountain called the Matu. And we're taking this route here and right this way. There should be beautiful vistas all along here. If uh, the mountain, it looks like it's going to clear up. It's morning, so there's a little bit of uh, overcast. So we're going to take this route along here and around here all the way to Madalena. Thank you for joining us and our next adventure is the island of Fayal.